In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Google Drive to sync with your board so that you can just pull up files right on your board so that then you don't have to have a computer attached at all times. So right now I'm in my personal account. Just remember that in our in Groton, we've decided that the owner is going to be the administrator account and you need to create your own account. So this is my own personal account so I can do the settings that I would like to use. So I'm going to sync my Google Drive account with my personal account here. And also my account is password protected. If it turns off, you can't touch anything without the password. But right now, what? so to sync Google Drive with your device, you will need to go into the locker. So, and again, I'm just going to go back in case you missed it from a different video. So I'm going to hit the flame or hit the flame on the remote. And you're going to hit locker. And when you're in the locker, there's something called Cloud Connect. So you're going to click on Cloud Connect. And then it'll give you the option, Google Drive or OneDrive. Our district is a Google Drive district, so we're going to use the Google Drive link. However, if you do have a OneDrive account all set to go, you could also sync that with the board. So I'm going to hit Google Drive. And now it's going to ask me for my username and password. So you're going to want to use the same login that you use for your school email address that you use for your Google information. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and put in my information and then I will show you how to connect. So we just had a pause there where I put in my username and password. So also I just thought I'd share this quick tip thanks to a teacher here in my building. I believe it was Mrs. Seljuda. You can move the keyboard up high. You don't have to always bend over. So you just grab the little hand thing here and then you can put it anywhere on the screen. All right, so I put in my password, so I'm gonna hit next. And for you only have to do this once. Once you do it, everything will sync. Okay, so this will allow, this is just giving permission. Yes, it's okay, please do it. Please, 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 please. Okay, so then there's the account. And now what this is doing is it's now pulling my Google Drive account not downloading it to the board, just linking it. So now if I'm doing a lesson, I can just go ahead and pull stuff from my Google Drive. Uh, let me see if I could think of something to pull up right now. So like if I was in, like if I wanted to pull up, let's see if I wanted to pull up this file here. Let's do Veterans since it's Veterans Day this week. So let me pull up a picture from Veterans Day. So then I could pull up this, which is saved into my Google Drive. Okay, so anything in your Google Drive, you can now open. Okay. So now my Google Drive is linked so that I can easily go in and pull the file. So let me go ahead and pull out, let me go back over here, so locker. So it's now linked to my cloud I connect. And then now when I click on the files icon in the locker, we'll now see over here, Google Drive. So now I can click on Google Drive over here and they'll pull up all of my content from Google Drive. So I know a lot of teachers have Google Slides stuff all set up. So once you do this, now you just go to, I'll do that again so you can see it. You just go into, I can open from any side. I'm gonna go locker. And then I'm going to go to files to get to my Google Drive. So files, and then click on Google Drive. And then my stuff comes up. So that's how you set it up so that you can get Google Drive directly onto your panel without needing a computer. If you're using your Chrome box, then you would just go to the Google Drive website and everything's right there, okay? Hope you found this helpful.